Chef Freddy here from Fantasy Springs, and today we're gonna make French lasagna. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do for this French lasagna is you wanna take six large eggs and beat them into a bowl, okay? And then to that, we're gonna slowly stream in six cups of milk. Yeah, I mean, you could make it richer if you wanna use half and half, but I think that when you see the way the recipe comes together, it's better to keep this part a little lighter. To season, we wanna take about a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic, a small pinch of cayenne pepper, a small pinch of nutmeg, and then just salt and pepper mix. I use a kosher salt and black pepper. Put the milk and egg mixture aside, and we're gonna build the French lasagna. Now for the star ingredient. Of course, croissant. You let them stale overnight. Because you wanna to start to line them in your casserole. We pre-buttered the casserole, okay? And you wanna do it with the cut side up. Try to, you know, make sure it fits in there nice and snug. Make sure we cover the entire bottom. It's okay if they're not all lined up perfect. You'll see why later. Next, we take some good quality ham and slice it nice and thin. We're going to lie that ham over all these croissants. Let it overlap a little bit. Next, we're going to take some fresh mozzarella. Also, you can slice that about like a little bit more than a quarter of an inch thick or a little less than a quarter quarter of an inch I should say and just start to line them up they don't we don't have to cover everything with these next some grated Gruyere cheese Gruyere is definitely one of my favorites it's hard to describe the flavor it's kind of like a, a cheddar with a hint of Swiss next step is to take the other half of the croissants and we're going to top that this side cut side down we add our milk and egg mixture in slow. Take your time, because the croissants, they do need time to soak up that liquid. And you want it to really absorb into the croissants before we bake it. Now we have most of the milk and egg mixture, so now we want to just press down a little bit. And I can still feel that even the top layers have not absorbed too much of the liquid yet. I'm sure the bottom ones have. Last step, take some of that beautiful grated Gruyere, all over each one. Now we're going to put this into our oven that we preheated to 325. It's going to go for about 30 minutes. Now this French lasagna would make a great brunch item. And there you have it, French lasagna. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.